All right, guys, I'm going to speed pull a few orders. 15 plus ship. We sold this other mirror that I got from the auction. It doesn't have that magnet thing, but it is one of those magnetized music box mirrors. And in here we have this other Jack Daniels little alcohol bottle topper for 72 plus ship. And 22 plus ship. We sold the set of paperweights here. We've got this one and... The other one, I believe it's in this section. Yeah, there we go. They're both um, GES, which I forgot what it stands for. But I do have another paperweight that is that brand as well. Last two items, $30 plus shipping on this Taco Bell bobblehead dog. And lastly in here for 19 plus ship, I have a set of three Kohl's Cares Charlie Brown plush. There's Woodstock, Charlie, and... Um, one other one in here, but I just have them bagged up like this. They don't get any dust, and so they stay together. But that's all we've got going out for tonight. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I just got off of doing a super long live. We made it to 500 subscribers over on YouTube, which is so awesome. I did definitely didn't wake up today thinking I was going to go live, let alone reach 500 today. But to celebrate, my chat in the live um, enabled me <laughs> to order myself some sushi. So I'm going to show you what I got. Don't mind my dishwasher going off in the background, but we got some crab rangoons. We got a Philadelphia roll and a rainbow roll. And they even included this, these super cute little trays for your, um, your soy sauce and wasabi, which is so cool. I've never had a sushi place send me like the little trays. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's currently Sunday the 17th. We have 12 orders going out. Um, so let's show you what sold. Eight plus ship, we have this Department 56 M&M's Christmas Express going out. 12 plus ship, we have this Avon Amazing Spider-Man toothbrush holder with two toothbrushes inside, really neat piece. Six dollars plus ship, we have this little model kit going out. 90 plus ship on this emerald green Viking swung vase. Paid $10 for it on Facebook Marketplace. 35 plus ship, if you guys remember my most recent GoPro footage video, I believe this is on there. These Lincoln Beautywear salt and pepper shakers, really cool. As far as I know, mine were the only ones listed on eBay. 22 plus shipping, we sold this old Chevrolet racing jacket. It has an old tag in there from Steve and Barry's. I don't think this store is around anymore. But I remember when it came to back to school clothes, clothes shopping, my parents would take me here. Um, but that was years ago. 16 plus ship. I have these low renaissance chessmen set. They're just the chess pieces. I can't remember where I got these. Maybe a church sale. 17 plus ship. We have this VR Bradley going out. 7 plus ship, we have the sock monkey plush going out, even though it does have a couple of damaged spots on it, like this one. 8 plus ship, we have this Harley Quinn costume choker that says put in on it. I've had this for quite a while. $11.25 plus ship on this cute little new old stock keychain. And lastly, for 12 plus ship, I just listed this recently, this little anchor hawking creamer um, dish. It does glow really nicely, actually. Um, and that's all we've got. No Mercari sales, no Dibdit sales. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get this all packed up and do some listing before I go to bed. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Alicia the Ink Picker. It is Monday. I am here with my cat, Ninja. He's just here chilling out with me, so I figured I would put him here on the video. He just had surgery last week, and as you can see, he's doing pretty well, so... He's laying around right here, purring, making biscuits, doing all things that happy cats do. Anyways, I wanted to show you some stuff I picked up um, over the last few days that I really haven't shown you yet on video. When I went back to our old house, we went to sell it. Um, it sold last Friday officially, so it's now done. I did find this on Facebook Marketplace while I was there. $12. It was actually supposed to be picked up by someone else, but they ended up not picking up so I was able to go get it which I'm so excited cute little CD player and it is like a plug-in one the cord and stuff is back here but this is a really neat piece for 12 bucks and I didn't realize how big it was in the picture it looked like a little tiny one but of course it's a CD player so I also went to the Goodwill over there and found a couple of things which is surprising because I really haven't found much over there 
over there they actually have stuff priced for under a dollar which over here it's kind of hard to find stuff like that but this is actually wedgwood it is marked right there can't really see it but anyways 50 cents for that little piece and it's in great shape and for i forgot how much shirts are 5.49 i found this really cool iron maiden shirt pretty neat and there's the back it's not an older one i mean it's a little old it is from 2008 it looks like as far as the tag goes um but yeah a neat piece I, this was on an end cap so i was really surprised to see it still there um that's basically it i thought i had more but this is stuff in a bag here that i already showed you guys a few days ago so i don't need to worry about that but anyways i'm going to get some orders pulled and packed so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that say bye ninja say bye all right now we're gonna pull some orders we just have a few going through first off we have five dollars plus shipping for this little brass made in india little tea light candle holder three dollars and sixty cents we sold this little wii manual and there's some other booklets in there that are for a nintendo wii it's not much but hey if you find one of these for free in a free box i mean it's free money at this point and that was probably the cheapest item listed in my store 18 plus ship we sold this vintage lettuce crisper if you guys remember, if you've been here a while, I had a Bargain Byways highway sale video. I got this in that GoPro video. Um, pretty cool. I don't remember what I paid, like five bucks, I think. So it's still a kind of a cool item. And I mean, you don't see stuff like this anymore. $6 plus ship. We sold this Pura Vita bracelet. I think it was this last summer. I bought like over a hundred of them for like, I want to say it was like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, so I'm just slowly selling them at six bucks a pop. I think by now I may have made my money back, but I still have quite a bit in there. But I do have volume pricing on in my listing for this. So if someone buys a bunch, they'll get a really good discount. But anyways, they're all the same color and everything, but just a nice, easy, multi-quantity listing. And lastly, we have this from the shelf back there, $31 free shipping. I got this in Orange City, Iowa when I went picking with my mom, Grandma and Pops Vintage, and Graham's sisters. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Good morning. Today is the day of the dibbed it raid train. I almost said dibbed it whatnot raid train. Um, but I'm on today at 2.45. It's currently 10 a.m. Dave starts here in about an hour and I need to pack orders. So I'm going to show you guys what's sold and then I need to finish getting stuff listed. But currently, this is all the stuff I have for dibbed it. So like I have this. This is a silver commemorative commemorative proof coin in there i have tommy pickles all a lot of this is actually um disney stuff but um a lot of new old stock really cool stuff that i picked up just recently um but yeah so we've got all this and i want to add some other non like disney items or if anything not mickey mouse for other people just in case i don't know i have a good feeling about it today um, since it's a new platform, I feel like a lot of people are going to be joining, people that are sellers and non-sellers. Um, and also on this box of Disney stuff, I already made a profit off of it. I bought, like, a whole box for 20 bucks, and I already sold a silver coin out of it for, like, 40 So, I'm already in the profit. This stuff is just going to be extra on top of that, so in case anything does actually sell for, like, 2 bucks, I'm not going to be super upset because, you know, it's part of the risk. Anyways, um... So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what sold over the past couple days. I haven't really been on top of shipping like I should be. We currently have 10 orders going out. This first thing is super exciting. It's actually right over here. These. I listed them and they sold in like 5 minutes. $120 plus shipping. These are Moser Amethyst Purple Candlesticks. I saw one of these that sold for around 60 so I'm like, oh, I'll just put both of them up for 120 while well, they sold. I'm not super upset. Um, if anything, I could maybe have gotten closer to maybe 180 Maybe. I'm just thinking maybe they were... It's hard to find the pair, maybe. I'm not sure, but you can just really tell with this glass. It is super pretty, and it's very clear compared to, like, just regular candle holders. Anyways, we sold these. Then we sold another one of these Sensi Zen Rock dishes. I have a few more left. 
think like three more. Um, but 15 bucks for this one. I try not to put those on sale just because um, I bought them pretty expensive. So I'm not really making much on those. So whenever I do sales on my store, I try to exclude those. The next item is over here. It's also from the Glass Buy. This is 65 plus shipping. This is a Hobbs Brockenier. Hopefully I said that right. Um, Art Glass Hobnail Pitcher. I didn't see any of these currently listed, so I just went off of a large pitcher that looked just like this um, and just posted it as is like that. Um, I just put the dimensions and said it was a small like creamer pitcher, um, but it sold really cool. I believe when I did my glass buy, he wanted like 25 for this. And I was like, I could probably at least make 25. Well, it paid off. We made 65. Next we have a Swarovski. Swarovski. Crystal Santa sold for $27.06. He's in there. We finally sold this from one estate sale haul. This is a Danbury Mint March Winds. I believe I paid, it was under $10, but we sold it for $80 plus shipping. It even comes with this super cute little miniature. Um, it is a collaboration with Goal, I believe it is. That's what it says on the bottom here, but it is Danbury Mint here and they go together. I have another set. It's not as valuable, but we did sell the more valuable one. This is from a huge buy. I did a huge C Bella buy from somebody on Facebook like earlier this year, like in the spring. We are already in the profit, but we just have a few more left. So this sold for 18 plus shipping. Um, a lot of beauty products and also the hair products, but the, all the hair products sold really fast. So I'm just left with a lot of the skincare type stuff. I got this at the auction. Um, what was that? A couple weeks ago. This is a like original vintage magnetic desk sculpture. I used to have one of these, but it was one of the modern ones. Um, so this sold for 20 plus shipping. It is from 1973 and made in USA. 25 plus shipping. We sold this Chinese version of the Voyages of Marco Polo. It also has the new characters ex expansion in there. This is from that big board game buy I did earlier this year. I'm pretty sure we're in the profit on that one. I honestly haven't been keeping track of it because we made a couple of larger board game sales towards the beginning. So I'm pretty sure I made my money back a long time ago. Sold this lot of two Monsters Attack vintage magazines for $18.50 plus shipping over on eBay as well. And lastly, we have $25.50 plus shipping. This is one of the first things I picked up over at... I was calling it my new favorite thrift store, but honestly, I haven't been finding much there lately. But I paid $2.50 per cup, so we're in this 10 bucks. We sold it for $25.50, so we made like 15 bucks. Not great, but it was still a neat item to pick up and try to sell. And we also made a sale over on Mercari. Let me get that opened up. We sold, actually, you can see it right there, that little piggy. This is actually a pig head CD case. It's so cool. Very like Y2K, early 2000s vibes. $17 plus shipping over on Mercari. And you can see his little tongue in there. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. Um. Anyways, it's a really cool little vintage item. I don't remember how long ago I picked this up, but it, I've had it for a while. I've just been waiting for the right buyer to come along. So that's all we so sold sold that's all we sold today um i'm gonna try to rush to get as much of this packed up in 30 minutes as i can because my post person does come as early as 11 a.m that's here in about 30 minutes um see how much i can get out and then i'm gonna be packing the rest after the show this afternoon and try and just get things out as quickly as possible for christmas and stuff since i've kind of dropped the ball the past couple of days anyways i'll talk to you guys later so I did a huge Barbie buy yesterday, $300 for about, I forgot how many it was, like 27 Barbies. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of those real quick because I might throw some of those for the auction on Dibbed It. I go live here in about a couple hours, but thought I'd show you everything. First off, we've got SpongeBob Barbie, Scorpio, like Zodiac Barbie, NASCAR Barbie, Rose Barbie. I believe this one is worth a little bit. Winter Velvet Barbie. I think I've seen this one before. Oh yeah, I have. But she's missing the plastic. I'm not sure if like this one just didn't come with plastic or what. Olympic skater Barbie. Mean Barbie. This one's really cool. I might throw this one on Dibbed It. It's a I Love Lucy Barbie. 40th anniversary. Bathing suit Barbie. Enchanted evening Barbie. Aladdin Barbie here. That one's pretty cool. I like the box on that one. Wedding day Barbie. 50th anniversary Barbie. Rapunzel Barbie here. It was kind of cold when I showed up. So I didn't really like the white Barbie. Individual prices on all of them. 
they just didn't want to sell them anymore i guess tour angel barbie then we got beauty and the beast barbie cinderella barbie harley davidson barbie and lastly we've got i just see 60 is it like 60th anniversary i'm not sure but anyways that is all that i got for 300 dollars, which i think was a pretty good deal we'll probably easily make our money back i know there's a couple in here that are worth over 100 i believe i know there's at least one um, but I believe there was a second one that wasn't cobbed correctly. So, um, yeah, hopefully I get some of these thrown on the auction. We are back. We did the live. Holy crap. That was so fun. So I have a huge box. Don't mind my office. It's a mess. This whole box right here and that mystery box that sold. Um, in just about 45 minutes, we made like, I want to say it was like $350 on everything in total. Um... I think four people bought my stickers at five bucks a piece which is really cool so we've got some people that did that which is awesome we had a mystery box with some stuff i got at a garage sale i paid a dollar and liz the nerdy picker won it for 69 i think she should be able to make her money back there's a lot of figures in there that are worth like you know five ten there might be a banger in there that's worth like 20 or something which there there you go there's like a third of her money back so i'm really excited about that that was about a hundred pieces and it was eight pounds of stuff. So, really cool. We got a ton of items to ship out now. And I'm so excited. It's just, that was so awesome. I've never had that many people watching me at once. And it was amazing. So, I'm going to go start packing. I want to list tonight. And I also just want to take some time and play video games too. So, um, yeah, if you guys got to stop by and watch that's really cool um in the live section of my youtube it should be in there although it did not capture the entire live because i didn't toggle something correctly so if you want to watch some of it that's cool um but yeah that was so awesome so if you guys want to sign up for dibbed it use my code inked picker on your first buy it now purchase and you'll get ten dollars off which is amazing anyways i'll talk to you guys later hey guys so i'm getting started on my orders from the auction i wanted to show you guys everything that sold because i show you guys everything um we have four stickers going out guys we've got one to tim over at over the years which was super awesome he said he is a new fan of the channel we've also got michael eddie and lola so four stickers going out to start off all right, guys, the next order we have going out, everything that's bundled together, I'm going to show you guys. So we have going out to ADH Dave. He got Tommy Pickles for five bucks. And he also got one of my new old stock Mickey Mouse boxers, kind of a cool piece. So he paid five dollars for Tommy Pickles and seven dollars for these. Next, we've got the Squishmallow going out for six dollars. This one is actually going to Faith over at my reseller Genie. Next item we have going out is over to Recycled Gadgets. They got the super cool Mickey Mouse suspenders. Um, I did have another one in the package that I also sold, but they just got this one item, so thank you very much. The next thing I'm packing up is actually something that was purchased via a Buy It Now during my auction. So we sold the set of two pewter uh, Walt Disney Productions Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. They are Hudson branded pewter um and these sold to danielson over on dibbed it so we'll get these packed up thank you all right guys so i totally forgot to show you guys what was in the mystery box that i sold for 69 dollars to nerdy picker but basically it is eight pounds of vintage mcdonald's toy goodness slash other little small toys over a hundred pieces is what i counted um I think she'll definitely make her money back on this. Of course, it's just a bunch of items. Like, you might find something in there that sells for, like, 20 bucks. You know, um, and right there, you make a lot of your money back. So, anyways, but this is what's going out to her. And um, if you want to see what, exactly what's in it, you can go ahead and check my live when I sold it to her. I did show what was in the box. Unfortunately, I just taped it up already, and I don't really want to untape it to show you guys, so I'm just telling you. The next two items that I have going out is this Mickey Mouse commemorative coin. It is a 999 silver coin. I was actually debating whether or not to put that on the auction, but it sold for $39, which honestly I can't complain considering I think I started the auction bidding on this at like, I think it was 10 bucks. Um, and at 10 bucks, I was a little bit scared. And then we also sold 
this pen, which has Mickey Mouse on it up here, what I didn't notice is that the pen actually said gold filled on it. Um, I started the bidding on this also at $10. These were the two most expensive items in my auction today, and this sold for $15. $15 to Mike and $39 to Todd. So thank you guys. This is actually going out to Thrifted Spirit. I believe she watches my videos here, and I think she does drop a comment every once in a while, but she won this Betty Boop. I'm going to try not to touch it because I have cat hair on me, but this Betty Boop Athletics Club shirt. Only thing is, the tag is so worn that I didn't know what the size was, so I estimated. I also put a pit-to-pit -pit measurement, and it was missing a button, but she said it was okay and that she could repair it, which is awesome. So, we got that, and for $8 to her as well, we sold this little strawberry shortcake bed canopy. Really cute. All right, guys, this next order, it's three different items going to Nancy's Notions. First off, she got this Iron Maiden shirt from me. I just picked this up. I'm not going to unfold it just because I just got done lint rolling it and I want to make sure it stays lint free. $16 plus shipping on that one. Next, we have the Scooby Doo plush. That is the first thing I ran today. That sold for $7 plus shipping. And we also have the set of two handmade, I'm assuming, um, checkered dog. They're like pillow plushes. Um, I've had these for a while. I just hadn't relisted them yet. So I figured I would throw them in this auction and they sold for $8. So that's pretty cool. So one thing that I did yesterday that I didn't tell you guys about yet was I posted on Facebook that I was looking for some, some shipping boxes. And um, I went and filled up my car basically. I think I went to two different houses and they all had a ton of boxes for me. And um, I use, I'm using a lot of them tonight. And that was kind of the plan, but it's also, I've been using a ton on eBay for ground advantage shipping, which saves me and the buyer money. So yeah, um, that's just a suggestion I have. If you know you're gonna be shipping out a larger influx of boxes, check out what places you know near you have free boxes you can even go check at like a dollar general or even like some random stores if you go talk to the manager i'm sure that they'd be more than happy to let you take some of their boxes instead of filling up the recycling bin the next item i have here is a vintage barbie sleeping bag sold for 12 dollars to mike next we actually sold another buy it now item we have this vintage teenage mutant ninja turtles uh, Napoleon Bona Frog that sold for $11. Alright guys, two more items going out. We got $6 for this new tag Disney Mickey Mouse Boxers. These ones are the size large. And also to the same person, $9 plus shipping. We have this I Love Lucy Barbie. Just picked this up in that haul that we got yesterday. This is actually going to our Dusty Treasures, I think it is. It cuts off. It doesn't let me read the rest, but I believe that's what their name was. All right, these next four items sold to Finds for All Mines. First off, we've got this super cool calculator ruler for $11. Then we've got these new in the package Mickey suspenders for $8. This bandana for $3. It does have a cowboy Mickey on there. And the last item, $2 plus shipping. These are some old erasers. And here the last seven items are all to one person. These are all going out to Midnight Rain. Um, that's at least their username. But here is everything that they got. First off, they got my My Little Pony variety lot. I just lotted together all of the ponies. And it ended up selling for $16. I had three different lots that were separate and just decided to combine them all for this auction. Um, next we have, for $8 plus shipping, this random, I called it a Disney collector's lot or bits and pieces. There's pencils, there's a couple of patches, a keychain, a paper clip, and a bunch of Disney soap in there. $10 plus shipping, we sold this magnetic clip here. Then for 8 plus ship, we sold this glass Disney mug. I thought that was surprising that that went for so high. $12 plus shipping. I was also surprised about this. I made a little Happy Meal toy lot. 
I've been getting these from McDonald's lately from their latest meal. And then there's a couple of Pokemon things in there from previous McDonald's uh, toys. But yeah, I mean $12. And then we have a little Disney pin in the box. $2 plus shipping. Or $2. <laughs> and $8 for this really cool little Disney and Goofy comic book. And that is all that sold during the auction, which is super awesome. There was only two items I ran that didn't sell at all. But um, overall, a great success. I'd love to do that again, but I am exhausted from packing. I packed, woke up this morning, packed all those orders before um, the show. Then now I'm packing all the orders from the show, and I still have more orders coming in from eBay because I just put a sale on my store. So I'm pretty worn out. Um, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.